A desperate search in the Bronx tonight to find a missing elderly woman. 96-year-old Jessie Thompson walked out of the Bedford Park nursing home, and officials there say they are very concerned about her mental health. CBS 2's Lou Young live now with more on this. Lou? And her physical well-being, Maurice, uh, the woman has been watching the world change around her for the best part of 100 years. We know that she walked out of that nursing home about 35 year, hours ago and then vanished, and tonight is the subject of an intensifying search. Cops in the Bronx are peppering the businesses along West Kingbridge Avenue with posters of the missing woman, a 96-year-old nursing home resident who left the Jewish home life care facility in Bedford Park Sunday like she was on a mission. The image caught on security cameras. She's got a diagnosis of dementia, but at, at this time she's been alert and oriented. You know, her judgment was a little off. She wanted to go to Manhattan. Jesse Thompson apparently packed her bag, got dressed, hit the door, and was seen at a bus stop across the street before the alarm went out. She was first brought to this nursing home in December after being found disoriented on a subway. We know she lived in the South Bronx on East 168th Street some time ago, but no one in that building remembers her now. The relatives of other residents at the nursing home are shocked that the 96-year-old woman was able to walk out so easily. They're supposed to have alarms on the people that wander, that have those types of problems. We just want everybody to see her picture and keep an eye out for her. And if you do see her, to please call the police. We're worried about her. Investigators are trying to piece together the uh, portions of her life to try and figure out where she might have gone. They have really no idea. Her only living relative is a cousin in South Carolina and has not been much help at all. State investigators, meanwhile, with the health department, the state health department, are trying to figure out why the woman wasn't more closely monitored. We're live tonight in Bedford Park, the Bronx, Lou Young, CBS 2 News.